the middle of the night. I got a hooker who just got shot. She wants to know if you want a half price on a blow job. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> she's, got, she's got an extra hole. Yeah. Fucking crazy <laughs> shit. But you know what? Toronto was a beautiful fucking city. It's weird how they were way advanced in 97, 98. They already had a delivery service for weed. Well, I remember uh, I remember when the, the Chronic Tour came through Toronto in like 2000 or 99. And uh, I used to sell weed back then. <laughs> And uh, I went and hooked up Warren G with some weed that night. You were DJing? No, I, I was no, I was still DJ. Yeah, I was doing comedy. I was DJing, but I was, I used to sell a little weed to make some money on the side. So he wanted weed, and I was like, I got you. I took him to the weed spot. Yeah, Canada at that time had a girl that came up to me at the comedy club the first night. She gave me a number, and she goes, "If you got want weed, they think it's thirty. It's thirty five dollars." I could be wrong, but I, I went and did that, uh, the smoke, the weed room. The little one, right? In Toronto, and I'm, yeah. I'm blanking on the name, but the woman who owns it, Puff Mama, told me that was her. Probably. She she, probably she, I've like, never done that room. At the comedy, at the comedy club or something? At Comedy Wood? I don't know. Comedy Wood was up at uh, Young and Steel's. Yes. Yeah, Young and Steel's. And I used to walk over to Blount Street, Bloor Street. Bloor. And that was the best, second best strip club <laughs> I've ever been at what was the first life. best? The one in Jersey, the one that you could stick a bottle in the chick's pussy. Oh, yeah. so you, you go to you, if you go just outside out. the city in Toronto, yeah. you go to a strip joint. Yeah, you, any anything goes. Are you serious? Anything goes because that Bloor Street, everything went. What we used to do is, I, I when I first started getting money and I was living here and I would go home every now and then, I had a fucking big fucking pocket full of money. I was young, I had a hard dick, and and no fucking dependents. <laughs> so we would go to the landing strip right by the airport, and I would get all my friends. And we would get the VIP room, which is about the size of this place, with two couches in it. And there'd be like eight of us, and we'd get 16 chicks in there. <laughs> and I would call it Vajanga, because it was just <laughs> pussy everywhere in every angle. <laughs> you know, she's sucking off your friend over there, your finger in a while. She's sucking off your friend. And my friend, my friend's it's making disgusting. out with this one chick and squeezing her tits. And I'm fingering her from the back. And, and uh, he goes, so what's your name? She goes, Marisa. And he goes, get the fuck off me. That was his mom's name. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god fucking strip clubs what a disgusting i know now i call them wantstitutes it's it's <laughs> it's like i got out of them early like i got out of them early my boxing coach took me to a strip club for the first time in like 87 the night of the hagler hearns fight Hag no hagler leonard fight Jesus 86 Christ. was that 86, 86 or 87? 87 something like that yeah my boxing coach took me and I was I was I look I looked like a child in Toronto yeah just outside of Toronto how old were you I was 16 no it, ID no no none. ID just nothing walked in yeah walked in I sat down and we we're gonna watch the Hagler Leonard fight and he paid the 10 bucks cover to get us in because it was on closed circuit TV back then and uh and I was just I'd never seen naked women before in my life I just sat there fucking like completely amazed. They're spreading wide open. I was like, this is incredible. And then the they never got the fight. So people start throwing bottles and, and rioting in the place. But I didn't even notice because I was just staring at this chick on stage. <laughs> There's bottles flying over my head. I don't hear nothing. My coach sneaks out. He, he leaves to go to another bar to go watch the fight. I turn around. There's barely anybody left in the club. I walk out. And they give me $10 on the way out. They're giving everybody the money back. So I got the $10 and I walked back in the club from the front, <laughs> looked at some more pussy, and I got another $10 on the way out. And then uh, I remember I just jogged home and I remember being so happy. <clears throat> and I remember when I jerked off that night, I could have fucking stuccoed my ceiling. It was incredible. Oh, yeah, you leave those places oh, wound up, God. though. You walk home fast. Oh, yeah. You I jogged like it was fast. nothing. Oh, it was about God. a three, four mile jog, but I didn't feel nothing. Your dick gets hot at that age. Oh, yeah. You see it and you yeah. just get. You, I remember one time I had this, in fact, my mother was still alive. So I had to be around 15, 14, and I had one of those bag jacks that, you know, the, the sperm don't come out. Right. Like you got so, like something happened, like a chick showed you a tit. Blue balls? It's like, it's ripped. there's something, because my ball swole up. Oh, I, I never had that. I didn't know who to ask. <laughs> so I woke my mother up at like 6 in the morning when she was hung over. It's like, what do you want? I'm like, Ma, look at my nuts. Is there something wrong with him? And she's like, what is wrong with you? <laughs> Did you ask her in Spanish? Huh? You ask her in Spanish? Oh, yeah. yeah. 
I'll never forget. She was asleep with her head. Can you just say it in Spanish the way you asked her? Me, my God, because it was dark in the room. Right. I go, me duele aquí. Que no que es esto. And she got up and she looked at it all weird. She goes, ah, no sé si te duele ahorita, vamos para el médico. <laughs> and whenever you said doctor to me, whatever mm-hmm. ailment I had went away. Yeah. <laughs> you just busted a nut That's right there. That's all you got to <laughs> say to me is doctor. And the ailment goes away magically. It's Thank- fucking crazy. <laughs> I don't I don't like going to the doctor. You're like my daughter with even medicine. At, even at this age, I don't like going to the doctor. My daughter will not take I medicine. I go. He's a great guy. I love him to death. When I, I bring an iPod because if they're going to draw blood, I got to bring an iPod. I get mobile blood draws at my house. I did one today. They come to your house? Yeah, they come to my house and do it. Oh, Jesus Christ. And what, do you lay on your bed? No, nah, I just <laughs> sit at the dining table, give them my arm, they take it. I and what do care. they do with the blood? They take it, they ship it back to where they got to ship it to. And Oh, you do that like a physical at the house? Yeah, well, I do the, I do these like every three months of mobile blood. They come and take blood. Check Why do on, you do that? Just to make sure I'm all right. So you do the checks. You yeah. don't do it for the other reason. Nah, no, I just do it for See, the checks. See, I do it for the fucking changing of the oil. Yeah, well, you gotta I wouldn't change mind. the oil and make new blood. That's where the party starts. Oh, yeah? You go sit in the Novator <laughs> bed, you get a fucking pint taken out, and you go sit in the Novator bed, throw, get some Chinese guy to throw a couple needles in you. Mm-hmm. You get some new blood cells. That's why women don't die of heart attacks because they bleed every month. Mm. We're the only assholes that die of heart attacks because we don't bleed it out. But if we change that blood every six or seven months, you'd be tip top Magoo. That's why Keith Richards is still alive. Yeah. All those blood well, transfusions. A lot, a lot of needles in it. <laughs> a lot of fucking needles. <laughs> a lot of but needles. But you got to be willing to do that shit. Take a pint out every 60 days. I could do that. What do they if replace you, it with? New blood? No, you, your body forces you. Ten Planet Kush, it drains the lactic motherfucking acid. People won't cop to it. The health specialists say, no, that doesn't happen, Joey. Yes, it fucking does. I got friends in Harvard, bitch. I'm like God Brooks. I got friends in high places, motherfuckers. <laughs>